No, that was the tape. Good. I didn't want to get off on the wrong foot here. Do you get out of jail this season or any hope of that? Well, certainly the big arc of last season was, you know, I mean, Barry his whole life has been trying to get his father out of jail. There's got to be some kind of resolution to that. You know, and I think it, it needs to come pretty quickly. I absolutely cannot tell you what that is, but I'll, I'll tell you it's always going to be a surprise. You know, the, the executive producers are full of surprises, and it could be anything. I mean, what? what how many choices do we have? Henry stays in prison, Henry gets out of prison, Henry dies in prison. So, yeah, I mean, you know, who knows? Just just hang on for the ride, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. so, so there's a, there's a, obviously, the, <laughs> there's obviously the multiverse being established, um, parallel worlds, different possibilities. Um, it's led to a couple of rumors going on that there might be a parallel Earth in the Flash series where you might be reprising The Flash again, you know, from the old CBS show. Is that something you would ever be interested in doing, putting on the red suit again? Oh my god, you, I, you you had me up until putting on the red suit again. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the only thing they're going to put the suit again on. I say, yes, the prison suit. It's much cooler. Um, you know, they're discussing all these things. All these things are in play. And since they're all Warner's properties, really anything is possible. Those, those, that is more a question, of course, for Greg and Andrew and, sure. and Jeff. But, uh, would you ever would you be willing to put on a Flash costume again? With a, with with with, uh, with new ba 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 new technology cooler yeah but I don't know we'll see Fair we'll enough. see you know, you know what I I am so in awe of, of, of Greg and Andrew and, and Jeff and David Letter and that uh, it's like Mark Mark Hamill said when he came back he was like really the trickster yeah. 25 years later he said I could barely work the unitard back then I can't do it now but he trusted <laughs> that the way they would bring him back would be ultimately what it turned out to be. You know, so I would, I, I really would trust them. You know, I totally, I totally trust them, particularly given the evidence of the first season. That if they wanted me to do something like that, that I would feel uh, protected. Can you talk about the development of Henry and Barry's relationship last season, and what we'll see more of that this year? Well, like I said, you know, the, the main thing is he wants to get, uh, wants to get Henry out of prison. What I've loved doing is the way that they've used me. I, I, I've loved, people were like, you know, you need to be Jay Garrick, you need to be Jay Garrick for a season, we want to get the passing of the torch. And I said to everyone, you're going to get that. I know why you want that. I said, but it's not going to be as on the nose, but you're going to get the passing of the torch. It'll be in the terms of a father-son blessing. But uh, the way they've used me, the fact that I get to come in at important moments, not be overused, but when Barry needs to crumble, when he needs to go inside, he comes to his dad, you know. And as someone who's played that part and knows what he's going through, it's a, it's, you know, I just, you know, it's just John and Graham talking to each other. That's what those scenes are, you know. So uh, it's, it doesn't often happen. I knew it when I saw him on Arrow. I saw, I didn't see any acting. I didn't, I could not see the acting scenes. So I, I had a feeling it was going to be, I was like, yeah, I, I, we're going to work well together. And it's been, God, it's been even more than I have. And the fan reaction to it. Although the father-son dynamic, which I played many times, psycho dad on Team Wolf, really good dad on Boston's Creek. That's all the the reaction that you get from fans blows <laughs> you away because that dynamic is so complex. You know, as I'm sure that you know, the mother-daughter, you know, thing is too. You know, but uh, yeah, it's been an amazing reaction to it. Could we potentially start seeing you interact a little bit with Tom Cavanaugh in any various characters or who plays on the show? I would love that. Oh, I would love that. What a cast of uh, cast of actors. I mean, I love that our scenes in the prison, but you know, that, that brief shining moment I was in Star Labs during the Trickster episode, I was like, yes, I get to interact with these guys. I hope there's going to be more of that, and and and. If and when, I would imagine, Henry gets out, there would be more opportunities for stuff like that. <laughs> Are there any standout um, scenes from the first season of the series for you? Like, in particular, anything that you loved shooting? or? Well, of course, the first one, and David Nutter directed the, that, the, the, the pilot episode. And when we got to that final scene, they kept out some dialogue. 
that I hadn't heard. And they said, we purposefully wrote this, and we didn't want to hear it until right now. And we wrote it to, to try to live up to the respect and, 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 and to honor the character that, that you created. Well, I'm already about to go, you know, and then we walked in to that scene. I'll tell you, the scene where I was reading and I, I, I literally was like, <gasps> what is the scene in the infirmary? where I show him the picture of the Flash and I say, he says, what don't you think I tell you? And I say, well, yeah, but if the Flash were my son, I'd tell him some things. What I love about that is Henry didn't say, I know that you're the Flash, so cut with the pretense. Beautiful father-son moment. Henry opened the door for him to walk through. I tell him that he's a hero. I tell him it's a dangerous world out there. I tell him he's helping a lot, a lot, saving a lot of lives. But he didn't force him through it. And he walked, the door that Henry opens in that episode, crazy for you, I think it was, Barry walks through in the tri Trickster episode, the wonderful moment where he takes off the cow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you tell me who will audibly respond during the